Hello and welcome back to the Rural Project. So it is the 6th of January, it's the first time I've been back here in quite a while. So 6th of January 2023. So Happy New Year too. I, now I cannot remember where I left the video last time, um, so I'm just going to kick into it today. So we're back here, top of Slipper Hill in the woodyard. So what we've got here is the, the wood that I dragged down from up above the excavator a few weeks ago. Got most of it uh, booked to length and stacked into a pile at the back there, as you can see. Still got a little bit to go through. So what I'm going to do is get the time lapse going. We'll get this stuff booked to length, and then we'll uh, we'll get it stacked. Okay, that was a quick half an hour. Smash through all that wood, it's really, really heating up now. I'm here today because tomorrow is forecast 37 degrees C. So I thought I'd get here today, get here early, get this uh, get this wood cut up, and get it put in the wood store so I can get this area cleared so I don't have to come tomorrow. All right, let's have a quick look at what I've done. Okay, so as you can see, all the uh, all the long lengths are all booked up to booked up to length now, ready for splitting, splitting or storing. What I'll do now, we'll get the time lapse going again, and I'll uh, get put all get, in, and now we'll put all the uh, all the rounds that are uh, good to go. Put them straight into the uh, to the second wood pile there, and then we'll see what sort of mess we've got left. I think what I'll also do once I've got all this stuff moved out of the way, we'll uh, do a quick tidy up through all the all the scrappy pieces of wood. To this pile, and the uh, the rest of the stuff will get uh, will get raked into a centre pile, and uh, we'll use a little gorilla cat there and get it all dumped out of the way. Right, let's get that time lapse going and see me in action. Just a few pieces left now, but all of these. As you can see, they are absolutely solid. So we're going to have a whack of these with the uh, with the axe. I hope they're going to be one uh, one hit wonders. But I have a feeling I'm going to be whacking on these for quite a while. But uh, let's see how we go. I'll get as many of them split as I can, and we'll just see how we go. But it uh, it certainly is heating up here, getting warmer and warmer. But let's uh, let's get the axes out and uh, try and get some of these split down a bit. it consistently in the same spot if you want to split it Chris. Well that one with a pop. Look at the grain on that. Well, you can see that on the camera. Massive wavy grain in between each of the growth rings. Because a lot of this stuff is so uh, so dense difficult to split, I'm leaving it much much bigger. These are going to be my uh, overnight pieces. Well, let's work our way through the rest of this and see what else I can get split.
practically impossible to split but uh, give it a try see if I can hook this piece off It's not going to go this, no way. Yep. Leave that for the splitter.
Gets the heart pumping. Right, we'll pick up all them pieces. Go and stack away. Okay, that is the woodyard all cleared up. You can see we've uh, we had the rake out and moved all the all the rubbish that was on the floor. There were five wheelbarrow loads of rubbish on the floor, so that's all sawdust, wood chips, and uh, all bits of bark and offcuts, etc., etc. So what we're going to do now put the uh, put the steel lids on these, tie it down. This stuff is all for either burning or chipping, depending on how I feel in the future. And then there are a load of uh, odds and sods, really kind of cookie pile stuff, but they need to go through a log splitter first before I can drop them into the cookie pile. Right, we need to get the excavator out of the way. Can take that back up the hill. A couple of jobs I need to do with it up there. So the next jobs I need to do, I've got to get up to the two water tanks and paint the outside of those. I've got the paint, I've jet washed them the other week. Um, I don't think I didn't video it because it was just a, a quick jet washing job, but I've got to paint both of those, so I'll video that. Got to um, then get down here, to get down Slippery Hill. So as you'll have seen in other videos, there's a big tree down the bottom there. That blew over quite a few months ago. I need to get down there, get the big trunk picked up, booked up to length or booked up so I can carry it and get it back up, uh, back up the hill. All the rubbish that's on the floor, that all needs to be picked up. And then what I'm going to do, if you can remember in previous videos, on the left hand side I've got a ditch going down and then it goes to a catchment basin, so um, to a pit and then some pipe underground feeding it into the gully. Well I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom of the gully on the right. The idea that I had of just allowing the water to spill over hasn't really worked and it's ended up with the whole bottom of that uh, area there, bottom of Slippery Hill being wet all year. So I'm going to put a pit and pipe in there and I want to get that done in summer before winter comes and then I want to try and get some gravel down there so those are the jobs in order get the water tank done get the tree moved pit and pipe dug and then get some gravel down there so those are all jobs for the future and those are all jobs for a much cooler day so I'm going to head off now thanks for watching wherever you are in the world don't forget stay tuned there'll be more videos coming to you from the rural project in the near future And what you're looking at here are the two water tanks that sit at the top of the hill. Both of them jet washed, all the old paint stripped off. Managed to get a, yeah, a good couple of coats of paint on them and look so much better. Mm -hmm.